All right, good morning, everybody. It's May 4th. May the 4th be with you. 2022. It's raining out, so I don't even have to worry about... I should check on it, though. It's been two days since I looked at this, since I've been gone. But let's see if we're getting any grass. Oh, 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 there is grass. No way, no way, no way, no way. Oh, there is grass. I think. Oh, definitely, definitely, definitely. We're getting grass. Oh, I'm so happy. I didn't think it was going to. I didn't think it was going to take. It's a little sparse, but it's definitely coming up. Sweet. All right. That's great news. That's the best news today. And I have not been in my shop for two days. Let's take a look. Let's see what it looks like. All right. We've got some framing to do. We've got some two by fours to buy for over here. We have to frame all this out for our shelves, our partition shelves. We have flooring to put in over here. So for the back walls and for the shelving here, the partitions, I'm thinking about maybe putting, just putting tongue and groove on the, on you know, for the partitions and the walls, just cause I enjoy having that wood around. And um, I already have the tools to install it. All I have to do is have it delivered and we can be surrounded by tongue and groove everywhere. That would be great. On the outside of the partitions, um, certainly it's gonna be uh, probably three quarter inch plywood all the way up. So I can um, attach a three quarter inch uh, French cleats wherever I want them. Somebody mentioned, I think there was two people that mentioned pocket doors would be a better option than a barn, a sliding barn door, which I agree. So I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna frame this out for um, the pocket door frame. If you don't know what a pocket door is, instead of a barn door, which would come out of the wall, and take up extra space, a pocket door actually goes, slides right into the partition. So it would disappear when the doors open, right? That's even better. So I, I really like that idea for both um, the pay dirt room and the studio. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Um, before I frame this out, I suppose I should uh, purchase the pocket doors I can reframe this out, you know, basically just cut these off where it needs to go and then frame it out for that. And then that way it can slide out. I could reframe this to where it's supposed to go. I think that's a great idea. So thanks in the comments. I really appreciate that. So Heather is waiting. She wants to go get breakfast. So I'm gonna go get breakfast and we'll be back. Well, that was quick. I shipped five boxes back. That's box three of five. Yeah, that was really quick. I just shipped those yesterday. All right, we're back from breakfast, but it is 4 p.m. already. As you can see, I didn't do anything. Um, I spent all morning and all afternoon editing on for, for this week's video. So um, didn't get a chance to really do anything in here. I do want to get those pocket doors. I'm going to write that on the list. We'll probably get started on that tomorrow. We'll finish framing this out as far as we can go, as far as um, not including the pocket doors. I still have to go to Home Depot and get more boards. Also, I have to remove everything from the garage door because we have the air compressor coming, the big 80 gallon air compressors coming tomorrow or the next day, uh, well, it's scheduled for that, but who knows. But either way, I have to remove all that stuff, get it out of there, and that's pretty much what needs to get done first. And then we can start worrying about getting the paneling on here, the, the plywood up, getting the, the cleats and stuff made. Still gotta get a table saw before I can make the cleats. 
I mean, I guess I could do it on the chop saw over there, but a table saw is a lot cleaner, so I have to keep searching for table saw. The shop is starting to fill up in an unorganized way. And as soon as these two rooms are built, all that disorganization is gonna start going away because we're gonna start putting shelves up. These shelves will be in place. We can hang wood, we can hang tools. That's pretty much the majority of the disorganization. So one thing at a time, I know it's a mess, but <laughs> it's, it has to be like this. So um, what can we do? I guess we can write on the board for tomorrow's list. Oh, we, we can erase a few things too. So we got our RAM sets, all that stuff is done. We got the underlayment for the floor, we got the tap cons for the floor. We still get to trim out the windows, you know, putting the sills in, making it all look nice and pretty. I think I might use that walnut that John gave me for the, that would be awesome having walnut. Cause if you look closely at this walnut, it's really nice. But there's some cracks and stuff in it, which unfortunately makes it unusable for making uh, guitars. But that's really pretty figured walnut, you know, but I, I can't use it due to the splitting, at least not for a guitar. I can use it for a lot of other things. And if we, if we, uh, you know, set this bandsaw up and we rip these in half, right? We can get 30 feet of wood out of that. And that's what I need. That's what's required for both, to trim out both windows on the inside. So that's probably what we're gonna do. Um, that'll just be another project. I'll leave that on the list. And we need to get, get more two by fours. And measure and order pocket doors. Yeah, thanks so much for the pocket door suggestion. I've never lived in a place that had pocket doors. So that is gonna be a nice, really nice upgrade, I think. A great idea, appreciate it. And uh, yeah, guys, any suggestions, keep them coming. As the place gets built out, I'm sure you guys will be able to think of things that, you know, I'm just trying to get through the job. You guys are giving these awesome pointers. And yeah, it's nice to have, a lot of people wanted to know, why can't I just put the vinyl flooring directly on top of the underlayment? Well, you can, but if this, first of all, this OSB here, this is all flooring. This is the stuff, stuff that came with the house. It was up in the rafters. So um, I'm just using it because I had it. All I had to do was buy one more sheet. That stuff is $70 a sheet. It was $67 plus tax. It was like $74 for the sheet. It was crazy. So, I mean, you know, it is what it is. And it's the flooring. I need it. This is the only use for it in the shop, so why not? Um, you know, install the flooring. We can put that on the list. But as we go, we'll just keep adding to the list. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm happy the grass is growing on the western slope out there. And that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.